Hello guys, I'm Brian, you guys should know my name by now, and I'm doing a new video for you guys on Transformers Age of Extinction, it's a hot topic to talk about, and if you couldn't tell by the title of the video, this is a video on, will I think, at least, will Age of Extinction suck? Will it be terrible? Will it be a bad movie overall? So before we get started, I want to talk about my opinions quickly about the previous three movies, just so you guys are aware of where I stand between those. Transformers 1, I thought it was a great movie. Lots of action, lots of fun. I thought it was incredible. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen? Uh, just a little stupid. I mean, it went Indiana Jones for some reason. It's got a lot of dumb jokes and whatnot. It's just a lot of... Meh. Transformers Dark of the Moon is pretty much like this summed up. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty boring movie. Anyways, let's talk about Age of Extinction. Now, personally, do I believe that Age of Extinction will suck? And this is all based on my opinion, not the collective opinion on everyone else's mind. So, in regards to that, a lot of people might hate me for that, but you know what, this is my opinion, so... Just, just cool down! Just chill! Sit down! Eat a sandwich! And just calm down! So, do I think that Transformers Age of Extinction will suck? I think not. I think it will be probably, definitely better than Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, maybe like Dark of the Moon? Uh, but I think it will be like the first movie. You gotta realize that this is a whole fresh new start, and I think that it's a perfect opportunity. If you're going to continue this lineup of characters for a Michael Bay film, for a live action film, I think that like remaking the cast, bringing a whole new cast in, was a brilliant choice. I mean, think about it. How long until these characters get too old and too boring? I mean, they're already replacing Megatron with Galvatron from what we've heard, so, you know, that's a plus. I think Mark Wahlberg will do good. I can't remember the name of the other actors, Nicola Peltz, I, I think that's one of them. However, it's still a good idea, and I hope to learn them in the future. One of the guys from How to Train Your Dragon and Cloverfield, which are two of my favorite movies personally, uh, is in that, T.J. Miller, so that's kind of cool. Optimus Prime, Drift, and all of them... Even though a lot of people complain about the robot modes, and I'm still on the fence about them, even a the little bit of the alt mode, I think that I can grow into it. If the movie does good, then I'll really get into Age of Extinction. However, if the movie fails, I probably won't get any Optimus Primes, Bumblebees, maybe a Drift, but that's pretty much it. I mean, we already have a lockdown in Revenge of the Fallen, so I, I guess I don't really need the Age of Extinction version. And with that said, I think Lockdown was a very good choice to put in. He's a very good character in Transformers Animated, and I would just absolutely love to see his role in this movie. Speaking of roles, Drift, he sounds like a character that's going to get a lot of development in. I mean, he was an Autobot, or no, he was a Decepticon turning into an Autobot, which is in regards to the old Transformers stuff, like the comics and whatnot. So that has a little bit of a nostalgia feeling. So it's not just all Michael Bay and movie and live action. We actually got some nostalgia feeling to it. I mean, Bumblebee's still yellow, Optimus Prime is still blue and red. Well, mostly blue now, which is odd. But Hound is still green, and I think that was a pretty good choice. I can't say for Galvatron, I can't say for much of the other uh, Transformers. Drift is still a car, which is really nice. I love that choice. Even though this is a brand new cast and it is the live action universe, you can still find the little bits of nostalgia to it. It's not like Revenge of the Fallen with Skids, Mudflap, and Devastator, which look completely out of the ordinary. At least Devastator did transform into construction vehicles, but the robot mode? I don't know. I mean, it did have nostalgic colors to G1 and G2, but it was just a mess. And we also got to think about the plot. This could be a, a totally new plot. It took them three years to make a, a new plot. Granted, about a year they didn't really want to do this movie, but then they really did. So, I mean, that's two years again, pretty much. But still, it could be rolling in their heads what else they can do. So, you know, it's still a good thing. 
you can still technically say it's been three years. So do I think that Transformers Age of Extinction will suck? Probably not. I don't think it will have that goofiness. I know there's a goofy character in the movie, and we might get a lot of those types of goofy characters, but I don't think it's going to be inappropriate characters or inappropriate comedy to be in this movie. I did hear that this movie was going to be serious, then again, Michael Bay did say that Transformers Revenge of the Fallen was going to be darker, and look how that turned out. So overall, I'm curious about this movie. I'm not going to say it's going to be good, I'm not saying it's going to be bad, but I'm going to have little hopes for this movie, and with that in mind, hopefully I'll be really excited for this movie uh, once I finally see it. Because, you know, I had low expectations and it might be better than what I think. So anyways, that just about does it. Explain your opinions because, you know, you have opinions. Let them be shared. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Hey, thanks for watching and check out Facebook.com slash Transformers fan page for more. Hey Shockwave, how's the video views? Still at zero. Really? Wow. I guess no one cares. Oh.